So now that we have added the prices to our items, we can start adding the price to the tooltip as well. And to do that, we'll have to add something to the get tooltip function because each tooltip will need to know if it's a tooltip of a vendor. Because if it's a tooltip of a vendor, well, then we'll need to show the price as well. And we'll also need to check if um, the vendor is open um, because then we also need to show the sell price inside the normal inventory. So we'll have to go to the item uh, .cs file and in here we have a function called get tooltip and this is the function that is called every time we show a tooltip and this function needs to take in an inventory um, and this is the inventory that the tooltip belongs to so we can write inventory not invoke but inventory in v and now you'll get some errors when it's updating because we'll need to change get tooltip everywhere so it takes in an inventory And here we'll have to say inventory and we have to pass on inside the item script we'll have to pass on the INV to get tooltip and here inside the inventory we'll have to pass on the inventory to the get tooltip so that's basically this you have to write so that get tooltip is asking for an inventory as you can see here uh, inventory INV and inventory this is the inventory script and this is already an inventory so we just put in this um, inside consumable we will have to give in INV as well and here we need to change this so it takes in an inventory inside the equipment and we have to write INV and the last place here inside our weapon we'll have to write inventory again and pass it on to the base tooltip again okay there we go so now every single tooltip takes in an inventory and this haven't changed anything for you it haven't uh, yeah it, it's still exactly the same as before it still works but now we'll have to make use of that inventory we take in and we can simply just start with the consumable here inside the consumable tooltip we can make an if statement that says if INV is vendor inventory so if this tooltip is showing up on a vendor inventory then we are going to return to just copy and paste this in here and then we're going to return the price as well so we'll have to write um, after one we'll have to write price uh, backslash n actually to make a new line price and then write two and then we need to give it in the price so we can write uh, it's the buy price we need to give in here so if this is an inventory a uh, vendor inventory and we have a um, consumable then we need to show the buy price so let's try to save this and then we're going to say else else we're going to return the normal tooltip without a price on it. Let's try to save and jump in here and see if it works. So if we mouse over these, these are normal. And if I mouse over the consumable, then you can see it also has a price now of 10 right now. You can see the restore 10 health is a little out of line. And that's because there is something wrong in here somewhere here there's some space between restore and slash n so I just fixed that I would also like the price to have another color so to fix the color we'll simply put a color tag around it so I can just do like this I guess color equals yellow and then I can end the color on the other side here just like this there we go so now the price should should be a uh, yellow color. Let's try to save and test it again. And now we have a price written in yellow. So now we can see that the consumable here costs 10 gold or whatever. We can always write gold after it inside the tooltip if that's what you want. But right now there is nothing showing if uh, let's say that I pick up an a consumable here let's try to see if I can do that because if I could pick up a consumable I would want it to show up the price here if I open up the this one I would like to show the um, 
the sell price here. Here I have the buy price, which is 10. And here over here is to be written five because I can sell this and to the to the vendor. So to make sure that we uh, that we can uh, show that price as well, we will have to make an else if underneath here, and it should say vendor inventory dot instance that is open. So. If it's a vendor inventory, then we show the normal price. If the vendor inventory is open, which means we will only go here if we are not already inside the vendor inventory, then we will have to use the sell price instead. So just copy the line uh, from line 74 here and paste it underneath, and then replace the buy price with the sell price, like this. So now it should show the sell price whenever our uh, vendor is whenever we're communicating or we open our vendor. Let's see, go over here. And we need to pick up some stuff first. Let's see, there we have it. There's like sell price. You can see we have the health potion. We can see the price of five. If we close this one, try again, then you can see the price disappears. So right now the price is not relevant for us when the vendor is not open, but when we open up the vendor, we can see the price, which is five. So we can sell these items for five gold right now. But this was only the the consumable. We will of course have to do this for every single item or every single type. So we'll have to go to equipment as well. And inside equipment, we will have to make another if statement that says if inventory is vendor inventory. Um, and we'll also have to do this only if this isn't a weapon because if we don't check if it's a weapon, then we'll have a double price on some items because a weapon is also a um, an equipment part. So if we have a weapon, it will have double price on it because it takes the price from equipment and it takes the price from weapon. So to make sure that doesn't happen, we will make this is weapon with exclamation mark in front of it. So we are sure that this is not a weapon we're trying to um, write out here. Copy this one and paste it in here. Then we make an else if. Uh, something's wrong with the mouse. There we go. Else if. There we go. Um, and we have to say if vendor inventory dot instance is open, and this isn't the weapon again. So if the inventory is open, then we have to do the exact same thing. And then we have to copy this one. Let's just make it first. We'll need to put a price on it, slash in. And then we'll have to add those uh, yellow color thing. So if I have copied, yeah, there we go. And then write price, space, then we write two. And then we close it again with color like this and then we give it the price as well sell price there we go and we can just take this one and copy paste it um, and then we use the buy price here and down here we make an else and if that's not true then we just do the normal tooltip thing here let's try to save this and jump out and see how it looks we need to change something so this is only on equipment which means that we should have yeah a price of five here on this equipment and if i manage to pick up some equipment here it should be a price of 10. so i i mixed them up now as you can see so this price is 10 and this price is five so i need to go in and switch them so i need to say that this is of course the sell price and this one up here is the buy price so of course i managed to make, mix them there we go. So that was equipment and that was consumable. We we'll also have to do the same for material. Let's jump to the material here. And here we don't have a get tooltip at the moment. We'll have to add it to add the price. So public override string. Ah, not string, sorry. Public, let's try one more time. Public override 
if I can hit my keyboard, public override, um, get tooltip, there we go. And here we simply say, um, inside the material, you have to write a string um, material tip equals base dot get tooltip. So we get the base tooltip from it. Then we say if in is a vendor tool vendor inventory, then we are going to return um, the whole thing. So we are going to write zero. Maybe this is a string return string dot format. Going to write zero for plat place one, and then we're going to make a new line. <coughs> We're going to write size 14 and we are going to write color equals yellow and then we're going to write price uh, 1 and color so finish that and we're going to finish off the size as well and we're going to use the material tip at place zero here, so the normal tooltip comes first, and then we're going to add the uh, buy price at position one. And we can just copy this, and down under we are going to write else if our inventory. Uh, not that one, well, vendor inventory that instance that is open. So if it, that one's open, we're going to return the same thing just with a sell price. Um, and if not, then we're just going to return, <coughs> we're just going to return, sorry, a material tip here. There we go. So we return the normal tooltip without anything. If um, if, if one of these two is not valid. So let's try, if I play the game, pick up some materials, it still works here. Open this one up to show the sell price, which it does, so that's five. Don't really have any material over here to test, but it should still be working. So the last thing we'll have to test is the sword. So we can jump back into the script and we can find the weapon. Not the sword, but yeah, the weapon. And in here we'll have to do the exact same thing as we've done the other times. We make an if statement. This is if our inventory is vendor inventory. Then we're going to take this tooltip here, copy and paste it, and then we're going to say uh, say else if. And then we're going to make an else down here. paste it here and we're going to paste this one here we are going to add in uh, the price by making a new line and we're going to write color equals yellow price colon on position 2 we're going to put that one and we're going to write slash yellow to close the price out and can just take this one, copy it, paste it down here, and then we're going to use the sell price. Actually, it's the buy price down here. Nope, it's the sell price. And up here, it's the buy price. There we go. Okay, so now it should work with um, <clears throat> now it should work with those tooltips as well. Unreachable code, also true, of course. So we need to say inventory, uh, vendor inventory dot instance dot um, is open. There we go. Okay. So now everything should also work for the sort tooltip. Let's give it a try. Yeah. So I made some mistake in there. As you can see, it's writing out everything so let's give it a try and see what I did wrong 
and as I can see I wrote yellow instead of color here as you can see price then it ends the yellow it should be color of course and down here it needs to be color as well maybe you already caught that when I was writing it before um, let's try again and let's see that's not what I want to do this now we have a price of 10 um, and if we do this if we pick up a weapon at least let's see if we can then there should be a price of 5 on the weapon now and it is like that um, what else uh, as you can see the attack speed is maybe a little to the right so maybe we have to go and remove the space here with attack speed so that it's more um, aligned to the left let's try again see if that happens it helps <clears throat> and there we go yeah attack speed is more aligned now so now we have the price on all of them the next thing we'll have to do is to make sure that we can uh, buy the items and we can't take them if we don't have enough money so that's what we're going to do in the next video